All right, you click on the video because you were looking into some of Chang Li's best teams and the rotations that are going with those teams. Right, not because of Chang Li's Boba Tea. So I will get straight to the point of the video. Now, first of all, I do apologize for you guys that there is quite a late video on Chang Li. But the reason behind it is that I've been extensively doing research on her and learning as much as I can about her during the past few days to work out some of the best teams for her as well as her specific rotations. Because I've seen so many of you guys have been asking for how to place Chang Li's specific teams. Now, of course, not all of the rotations are of my own and many of which I have taken inspiration from other creators which I will credit them in my description. So please check them out after the video as I would love you guys to also support the creators themselves. Quick disclaimer guys is that these rotations are basically for reference and for you guys to try it out yourself. I'm not claiming that these are to be the best rotations for Shang Li's teams but it's just the rotation that have worked really well for me and many others. If you have any other good suggestions about rotations feel free to leave it down in the comments after the video. Also I won't be touching on Chang Li's build or go over her kit in this video because while I believe that at this point in time there are like a million videos out there talking about how to build her, but there is one thing I would say about Chang Li is that when you're building her, you would want to have the Chang Li energy regen level to be around 115 to 120 percent for comfortable liberation rotations. If you're wondering how I know, well, it's from my own Chang Li experience because she currently only have like 110 energy regen yet she still have her liberation up most of the time only in two to three instances where she missed out on her liberation so the amount i just mentioned above should generally be enough for you now currently with chang li teams there isn't really the best of the best team which like a team that stands out way above the others many of which is just going to be chang li with verena alongside with another dps sub dps or a support so throughout the videos i'll be using using Verena as the example for the rotation but of course you can use Baiju in Verena's place in which while the rotation may be slightly different but however I can only cover Verena at this point in time otherwise it will be like an hour long video. And so before we hop into the specific teams here are actually a quick note regarding some of the language that I will be using in the rotation guides just so that the rotations aren't actually a whole college essays for you guys to read out. So first off this is going to be Chang Li's personal rotation or basically Chang Li combo. This is like the most straightforward combo for Chang Li to actually get her full stack up pretty much as fast as she can. Now most of the time since you're not going to be using Chang Li as the hyper carry on field, therefore we won't be using this much. However, I know that many of you like the Unga Bunga playstyle for Chang Li too because it's very easy and it is the easiest playstyle for you guys to play Chang Li. Therefore, it is also important that you guys are aware of this rotation. Now I'm demonstrating this in the overworld without full forte to show you but I think you guys can get the picture. All right now let's get into the team. I'll be leaving the rotations on screen throughout the videos for you guys but they will also be in the description for any of you who wants to copy down to your phone or notes if you want to practice them out. And yes I will have to give credit to our lovely Heron friend for being our punching bag in the video today as well. Also just a quick note that so whenever you get to the end of the rotation just start back from the top unless I have any further notes. So the first team is going to be Sanhua team. I'd like to mention this team first because Sanhua team is quite literally the easiest to play with Chang Li right now and also with the fact that you can get away with basically zero investment into her. So just her Echo Moonlit Cloud set with energy regen cost 3 piece would be fine. While her basic attack buff ultra skill unfortunately isn't entirely useful since if you are quick switching Chang Li you're not using that much of her basics anyway. However, Sanwa has very fast Concerto build, therefore you will be able to play the double intro Chang Li style and fast stacking build that way. By constantly rotating between Sanhua and Verena to get the intro, though do remember that if you are having Sanhua Echo on Heron, you will have to use it before switching to Chang Li for her to get the buff. Next is going to be Yinlin team, a team that many have been talking about. Now Yinlin I would say is an okay sub
up DPS for Chang Li, but while she does, it's mostly coming down to how much you have invested into her. If you're not invested, then she will be worse than San Hua due to Yinlin Outro and Forte can take quite a long time to charge up. The rotations I'm giving you right now is one of the fastest to charge up for her. Now Yinlin has decent liberation buff from her outro which does help Chang Li because while Chang Li liberation does a lot of damage and Chang Li also buff liberation damage as well. Therefore it also helps Yinlin to have her burst damage power up. I currently use Electro Echo set for Yin Lin, but you can also use the Moonlit Cloud set for Yin Lin as well for further buffing Chang Li, which is also fine. Overall, invested Yin Lin team will perform very well for Chang Li, but quick switching with Yin Lin doesn't always feel the smoothest. So, if you're looking for one of the smoothest quick switching team, that would be Yes Encore Quick Swapping Team. It's currently one of the smoothest, however, since it is very smooth, the quick swapping rotation is is one of the most challenging out there for all of the teams right now. Playing this team means you'll be constantly quick switching between Encore, Verena and Changli at any animation that is quick swappable until you get into Encore liberation duration of course. But Encore works okay with Changli too since she can get a fusion damage buff from Changli. Unfortunately not the liberation buff since Encore in her burst she still basic attack damage. However this is one of the most favorite team of mine right now not just because how rewarding it is if you get the rotation down but also since I'm an Encore main, I'm just happy that I can use my Encore. Now guys, if you've been enjoying the video so far, don't forget to check out my Broadblade only series, where it is a fun series which I take on the challenge of playing Wuthering Wave with only Broadblade characters. The link will be in the description guys and I really can't wait to see you there in the series. Another smooth rotation team would be Chisia team. Chisia guys deals absolutely insane damage, I just have to say that, especially on this team where she is the only character in the game that can make use of Bo Chang Li Ultra buff right now. So GCR main is definitely in for a treat. Now my Chisia isn't built guys so don't judge my poor Chisia damage however I do have a link in the description to another creator who runs with Chisia in which she does amazing damage. Something to also note is that this rotation is currently for S0 Chisia. If you are at S4 Chisia it will be just slightly different because S4 Chisia does have more on field time doing her E skill forte for more damage. But overall this team is one of the easier team for you to play around because the rotation aren't as tough as the Encore team. Next, we have Tao Chi team. Alright, many of you have been asking about Tao Chi too, in which I say, well, yes, definitely also works pretty well. For her outro, skill damage buff works really well on Chang Li, but it is my least favorite team right now as, well, you know, Tao Chi is just quite clunky to play, and she does require you to have at least a Discord blade to function well. Otherwise, her outro takes a very long time to get. The rotation I'm giving here is quite optimized to ensure that you have Tao Chi Consorto up as fast as you can every rotation. So as long as you have a Discord Blade and follow this rotation, you should be good. Next, Havok MC is also pretty good because we already know how powerful she can be, especially Liberation does amazing damage, one of the easier team for rotation 2. However, this is not too much of a popular team for Chang Li because many of the time HMC is safe for the other tower of TOA. But if you do decide to use this team, just make sure your HMC is well built and have her liberation up every rotation to make use of Chang Li's buff and you are all good. Now we get to the interesting parts of Jinxie. Now Jinxie teams are one of the harder teams for you to rotate because you do have to manage both Jinxie and Chang Li to have good on field time. And these rotations are quite optimized for that so you can just follow. First team we're considering would be Yuan Wu in place of Rina. For Yuan Wu team, I'll have a bit more simpler rotation here for you guys. Yuan Wu being here is having us focusing as much as we can to have good stack duration for Jinxie. Because while Yuan Wu is the best support for Jinxie stacks, he does have a bit of defensive shield if you are having his sequence and also having the Bellborn would help. Considering using this team, you'll be flying around quite a lot too. You can many of the time dodge attack which does help you with better survivability. So if you don't get killed, this team can lead you to some very, very good results. However, Verena team isn't that bad either and can just be as good. Verena team rotation will be quite tougher because you do have the ability to switch a lot in between all three characters unlike Yuan Wu, where you don't generally realize on his outro too much. This is also one of my favorite team because switching around this team feels very very good and we do have Jinxie on the team which is a character I really love a lot. So as I've mentioned 
imagine none of these teams guys actually performs way above the other. From my experience, Jinxie and Changli team on my account is performing the best, not because that they have good synergy, it's just because Jinxie is my most invested character right now. Next to that would be Changli, so they both performs really well. Therefore, how well your Changli teams do right now comes down a lot to your character investment. Otherwise, just as I've said, just use Sanhua and Changli team and you are very much good to go. So I think that's all I have for the teams right now, guys. If you have any other suggestions for rotations or questions, leave it down in the comment section and I will get to you there. I put a lot of effort into making this video, so hopefully it has been able to help you guys out. I really, really appreciate you guys. And don't forget to check out my Broadplay only series, guys. Link is in the description. I am sure you will have an amazing time. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on my future Wuthering Wave videos. With that, I wish you a super day and I will catch you on my next video. Thank <laughs> you.